Everybody, I'm Jabby Kowei, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? Super Bowl Sunday. We got the Flash official trailer that just dropped a moment ago. We're going to get into this right now. Hit the subscribe button, please. Bell icon. All notifications, pretty please. Vote the sucker up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another timeline. Another universe. Ooh. Is this a voice that we know? So yes. Why do you want to stay? <laughs> And fight to save this one. Oh, shoot. Because this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not gonna lose her again. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds drawn to each other like. My face. You saw my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Yeah. Bruce, I could fix things. You could also destroy Whoa. everything. What's be happening? I completely what? broke the universe. Sorry. We've been waiting oh, for you. No! Created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Yeah, the music, Whoa! baby! <sighs> You're. You are. Yeah. Yes! I'm Batman. <laughs> You're Batman! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if I can't undo what I did, if I can't get back, there might not be a future. Yo. Oh, what? What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Not Clark. My name is Kara. I, I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Oh! Uh. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna want to see this. <laughs> wow. Um. Holy crap. So. Uh, oh my god. There is so much that to unpack. So much. Yeah. I mean, they just they gave they gave a lot away in this trailer, huh? They did, but I'm not mad about it because I feel like if, if anything, it's made me more excited because it's like, how epic did you want this to be? Yeah. And they said yes. Right. All of it. Right. How well, many Barry I, Allens do you want? I, yes. I had a similar question in my mind, like, <laughs> Hey, Warner Brothers, how much money can we spend on this movie? Absolutely. Just, just keep spending until until it's right. I mean, the visual effects looks banana town amazing. Yeah. It's stellar. Stunning. It's absolutely stellar. Uh, and, the, you know, they got you right away. They hooked you with the emotional aspect of it with the mom. Yeah. And it's like, I am here to save. I'm, I don't want to lose my mom again. And I think exactly. all of us can understand that. Yeah. Easily. I love that about it because, like you said, it just underscores it with this emotion that you're like, I completely yeah. understand that. I like when they Th do that. This right here looks so fantastic. Like, it feels like there are literally two of him looking at each other. Like, yeah. I, there, I, I detect no sense of, like, artifice to this whatsoever. The visual effects is perfect. That's crazy pants. Like, that's how far we've come. And what's what's nuts is the first time I recall seeing something like that was with uh, Michael Keaton in a movie called Multiplicity years ah. ago, where he played multiple uh, versions of himself because he got duplicated, and it looked kind of, you know, janky, even though it was cutting edge at the time. Yeah. I, of course, you know, I, even though, like, I wasn't the hugest fan of Ben Affleck as Batman, I know neither were you. Yeah. It's still cool to have him back. It is. Because you know? it's just like, 
once again, how many Batmans would you yeah. like? Yes. Yeah. We'll take them however many you want. But of course, the one that we're most excited for is Michael Keaton. Right. The legend. Right. And, and so with this, like Ben Affleck looks like he's aged even a little bit more. Yeah. And so he's even even though Ben Affleck is the younger Batman, he's he's an older Batman between him and Michael Keaton. I mean, yeah, it's weird. They must have done some de-aging on Michael Keaton as well. Right. Oh, I didn't even get a proper look at him. But we also have Zod back. I know. I I did not know that that was going to happen. But that was that's crazy pants as well. Well, he's a good villain. He is so, a good villain. Yeah. So if there's anyone to bring, I mean, while we're bringing people back, I mean, he might as well bring him back for another round. That's pretty cool. And he looks like he's even more upgraded. The bat, uh, the Batmobile is <laughs> looks like it hasn't been taken out in a while. Yeah. <laughs> like it's it's covered in a drape of some kind. Yeah, and literally uh, so many bats but just the, pooping all over it. But they hit you with the music right away. It's yeah. like, oh my god, this is. Like 1989 all over again, man. <laughs> just like so happy with the music. I mean, it, it looks upgraded from the Tim Burton days, but it still is so nostalgic to have the music and then yeah. the, sh- the, the silhouette of his, of his, uh, yeah. you know, bat ears and all that stuff, and seeing him fly around. The, the way that the second Flash responds by like kind of dipping out. I know. Um, the hold of like, yeah, that's right. I'm Batman. Well, see, this is what I'm looking at, right? Where you see his mouth. I don't think they de-aged him. They didn't de No, think? I think that's just him. You think he looks that good? Yeah. There's a little bit of CGI going on here, um, but it still is like really strong that I'll, I'm, I'm so happy that I'll just buy into it anyway. Yeah. Even though I can tell it's CG. Absolutely. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? But like this, stuff, oh, this car crash stuff looked amazing to me. Yeah. Um, slow-mo car crash stuff always looked cool to me. My favorite, like the first time I remember seeing something dope like that was in the Matrix Reloaded trailer years ago uh-huh. the freeway chase and so that's that's what this kind of gives me vibes of is that same sort of thing um, but instead of turning like a tornado it's flipping this way and it still looks dope to see it yeah. slow motion with the you know with that's Batman right badass. in front of him like yeah. that's nuts man I think that's Kara that's Supergirl okay gotcha um, yeah so cause they they gave it away right I was wondering too I'm like wait who's gonna play Superman cause you can't tell from the silhouette mm. from the back but it looks like it's Kara well he's she said Kara yeah exactly yeah. so uh, we've got Supergirl in in this which is awesome this looks like uh, Ben Affleck's Batman right here oh yeah I mean with this like crazy Batman outfit that we've n- I haven't seen yet in the movies like this looks brand new that looks dope and he's like skating on the street it's like utility Batman yeah you know I mean not that he's not utility if out of all the superheroes he's the guy with the coolest utility belt ever yeah but it looks pretty cool um anyway uh, this was just insane. The the level that they went to in this trailer was actually more than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, no holds barred. I'm I'm very, very happy with it. I almost feel like we have to address the elephant in the room, which is Ezra Miller. Mm-hmm. And looking at this, I'm like, I really like the look of this trailer. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for the movie. It feels unfortunate to me that the actor is so problematic. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Am I still going to watch the movie? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, um, no, without a doubt, I'm going to watch this anyway. I do not have the fortitude to boycott this movie because it looks so good. I had no, so I had, I, there was no it. part of me that was ever going to boycott this. I mean, <laughs> I, we can talk about that all day long and the problems offset. Um, but yeah, like this just looks so fantastic. It really I was, does. A morbid curiosity, at, you know, at the very least was always going to bring me to watch this no yeah. matter what, you know? It, and, I mean, and, it looks dope. And bringing back Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck in the same film, I it makes me wonder if we're going to actually see them talk to each other or if they're just like kept separate because they're separate universes, etc. I have so, so many questions. Like yeah. the two Barry Allens talking to each other. I thought that was like a no-no in uh, time travel type stuff. Well, then you do an Avengers kind of thing, Avengers Endgame, where you're like, that's not how time travel works. Yeah. <laughs> that's no. not how the multiverse works. But I like it because we get like, because the, the Barry Allen that went back in time looks like he's the more seasoned one. Okay. But we still get that fun energy of like a, a cute Barry Allen who doesn't really understand anything just yet, which is what I really enjoyed from the Justice League. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. Subscribe, bell icon, all notifications, pretty please. Vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.